Hi everyone, I am Roland Chai, CEO and the co-founder of MachineFi Lab here, and I've got some really exciting news for you today. We began to roll out WebStream, the world's first decentralized off-chain compute infrastructure that brings the real-world data from smart devices to the blockchain dApps. It unlocks rewards for hundreds of millions of people and communities for contributing the data and the resources from billions of smart devices around them. By carrying out everyday activities such as walking, exercising, driving safely, or being eco-friendly, the use cases are unlimited. But what's more important is that WebStream is a completely new innovative design space for Web3 applications. It unlocks an entirely new business opportunity for developers, entrepreneurs, and device makers in the machine economy category that is predicted to grow to $12 trillion by 2030, according to McKinsey. Most importantly, it empowers community and everyday people to participate in, into building the physical infra network, contributing their data, device, utility, and earn the rewards. Before I get into WebStream, let's jump back to 2017 when other two co-founders and I embarked on a journey to democratize IoT. So in the past four years, the team has built IoTex Layer 1 down from scratch and launched with more than 100 validators worldwide, which has processed 50 million transactions already. So we served tens of thousands of people in 69 countries. We supported about 15,000 devices already. For the massive adoption, coordination of millions or even billions of devices and validating and processing data coming out from them are highly desired. Unfortunately, there is no such an infrastructure in Web3 can ever do it. WebStream is a final piece of a puzzle in our journey to device democracy and the machine economy. It's compatible with all mainstream devices owned by individuals, groups, and businesses, allowing them to send real-world data and events via HTTP, WebSocket, MQTT, and COAP protocols. Upon receiving the data, WebStream nodes verify and store the data, generate the proofs based on the dApp's needs. So this proof could be a privacy-preserving ZK snark that states how many miles, for example, a person has walked or how safely his car has been driven. These proofs are then submitted to the dApps that sits on various layer ones, such as Ethereum, IOTAX, Polygon, BNB, to trigger specific business logics, such as distributing tokens to its user. Noteworthily, the data is truly owned by the owner of the devices and end-to-end -end encrypted when transmitting from the device to the webstream node. So WebStream can be seen as a general framework for connecting the physical world to the Web3. It achieves this with an innovative combination of blockchain devices. It uses IoTex Layer 1 to manage device ownership and orchestrate a decentralized network of WebStream nodes to establish two-way communication between devices in the physical world at dApps. All this makes it possible for device owner to tokenize their data by participating into MachineFi dApps, and the dApps developer are able to manage a swarm of smart devices completing specific tasks which entitle them with power and, of course, responsibility. We're planned to roll it out in four stages starting from Q4 this year. So we are very excited to announce the launch of 1.0 in November, which has all the core functionalities to allow developers build dApps and users to monetize their device data in utility. We will have hosted WebStream services open to everyone, which keeps integrating latest updates. It supports data ingestion from devices, including mobile devices, as well as hardware devices. It supports programming the data validation and processing logic using your favorite language like JavaScript or Golang. It supports generating ZK proofs and commit to various layer ones without much overhead from the developer. It supports basic DID authentication to allow users to truly own their device and data. In addition, 
we release both mobile and embedded SDKs to allow mobile apps and physical devices such as Raspberry Pi, Arduino, Pable, and UCAN to connect to WebStream. At this stage, WebStream supports IOTX and Ethereum to start with, while we're working very closely with BNB chain and Polygon teams. 2.0 is scheduled for release in Q2 2023, where we are anticipating at least 200k devices adopting and using WebStream for MachineFi applications. It's at this stage when we address scalability. Thousands of WebStream nodes and MachineFi dApps can operate and communicate with each other. That will allow thousands of dApps to function optimally. During this phase, cloud resources are provisioned or removed automatically. Support for high volumes of incoming data is enabled ahead of MachineFi dApps to become very popular. At this stage, stream management, resource scheduling, and sharding features will be introduced to allow WebStream nodes auto-scale. It also simplifies the creation of decentralized identity for IoT devices and machines, as well as authorization of their data. At this time, more layer ones will be supported. This means developers can build machine 5D apps on multiple layer ones. 3.0 will be released in Q4 2023. It's when full decentralization come to fruition. WebStream nodes become open to entire community. Community members can become validators of the network. During this stage, the WebStream will also have integration with decentralized storage service providers, such as Filecoin, ARV, or similar protocols, to enable permanent storage of data upon users' consent. Plan for Q2 2024 is the most exciting release of 4.0, in this stage, privacy-preserving features such as confidential computing and differential privacy will be introduced. Nobody but the owner of the data or the device can decrypt the data, making use of the data. So we will also provide ZK tools for developers to easily construct ZK snarks, where one can demonstrate the ownership of a specific knowledge without disclosing the knowledge. We will further optimize the protocol towards high availability, high throughput, and low latency. It is at this stage when the network becomes faster, more reliable, and scalable. Let's talk about the impact WebStream will have with these innovations. WebStream expands the Web3 design space significantly, reducing the dApps time to go to market and providing transparency and composability for the innovation while benefiting communities and everyday people. It enables the creation of amazing new use cases in many categories. For example, it makes it possible to prove almost anything that happens in the real world to trigger specific business logics in the digital world or Web3. For example, in the X and Earn category, we will see uniquely new use cases such as sleep and earn for companies that want to increase the productivity by incentivizing employees to go to work well-rested. And then there is a fractional ownership, which is ideal for creating community-owned machine for public utility, which could be an autonomous car or a vending machine. Proof of humanity, which is a world affected by bots, is indispensable to verify people for universal basic incomes and issue even SOBON tokens to real-world people for them to enjoy more rewards from DeFi, GameFi, NFT applications. Our cutting-edge infrastructure will also seamlessly pair with other MachineFi tools, such as the device SDK, decentralized identity, and this all makes it very easy for the device makers to launch their own machine five projects and device networks. So in other words, it simplifies the Web3 integration process and requires only a minimum change on the back end of the existing system. In summary, WebStream is an integrating blockchain technology so advanced. It will not just disrupt the IoT industry, but bring the Web3 industry into the next level by opening access to many everyday people. It will benefit users, developers, 
and business worldwide, it opens up this $12 trillion machine economy to everybody rather than remaining in a few corporate hands as it has for decades. It makes us the most viable project to achieve greater Web3 adoption. Now you can understand why we're so excited about WebStream. It's literally a game changer for this category. See you all at our next WebStream video. I'm sure you are all excited. We are. I also presume you could have questions. Leave comments below and the tech team will get back to you with more details.